everybody's tank. <sighs> Sorry we hadn't had a show out for a while. Uh, I've been a little bit under the weather. Some of you know, some of my fans have sent me some mail in, wishing me to get better. And I really appreciate that. It means a lot. Um, everything on Quick, I've been doing a lot of stuff on Quick, and I'm getting to the end of my contract with Quick, and I'm going to bring everything back over to YouTube. So we are going to get everything back under control. And uh, we've just been kind of floating along, letting this get along. <clears throat> like I said, plus I've been under the weather. But I had one fan send me something, and of course I had to print this off and read this to you. Pretty cool. Kathleen Hayes from New Jersey. Dear Tank, we watch you every Thursday. We really miss you and hope whatever's ailing you, you get back under control and get back on YouTube. With no disrespect to any manner, or to the show, or to your producers, blah, 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 blah. We do not miss Beetle. I don't miss him either. The best thing ever happened to your show was getting rid of Beetle. I agree. What? Yeah. What? With and said that, we got two topics that we'd like to give to you and hear your opinions on. Hopefully you'll reply back to us, and we would love to hear from you. First thing is Amish people. Where I live in New Jersey, we have Amish people coming down our road, and they, the horses crap all over our road. And we get it on our cars. We've got to scrape it off our driveways, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I feel you. And the next subject was Jehovah Witnesses. <laughs> story, true story. One Saturday morning... We was all getting up, partying hard. Half of us had clothes on. <laughs> we had beer bongs. We had bongs. We had bowls. We had weed. We had coke. We had... Damn, she had a hell of a party. Had all kind of stuff out, and they knock on our door. <laughs> What's your opinion on Jehovah's Witnesses? <laughs> I agree. They bug you when you're like on a weekend. That, that's some hardcore shit, but... Kathleen, I, I really, I really like this. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I like to read on that, but I think we'll leave that alone. But uh, there, instead of sending you an email back, I'm gonna send it right here. Whew, Amish people, I agree. They are some worthless, inbred, non-tax-paying people. They shit all over the road. Yes, they do. They. My kids get this bright idea. Hey, Dad, let's get bicycles. Tank's like, hell yeah, I'll lose some weight. Yeah, I'll get, you know, get out there riding a bicycle. You're dodging the shit and also the pothole. As you can imagine. Then I'm jumping in my car going down the street looking for the Amish motherfucker. I'm going to whip his ass. Can't find him nowhere. You know, they go so slow. But it's like, as soon as they pass the house, they like disappear. Do I mean it's like some haunted hill shit or something? I mean seriously, they go right down the road. They go right past your house, go over the little hill here and there. I get in the car and I'm like watching for them because I'm going to town. Like, where the hell do they go? And they're like nowhere. It's like they go five mile an hour in front of your house, and when they get no one sees them, they hit like warp speed or something. You know what I'm saying? I mean these are some fake ass people. I mean you know, they might be popping up time machine shit or something. I, I could never find them. Or you come around a curve, and it's raining, and you got like four or five Amish carriers going down the road slow, and you're like, Whoosh! you know, speed limit 55, and they're doing 10. Yeah, that's irritating. Jehovah Witnesses. I love them. I love Jehovah Witnesses, man. I can remember back when I was a kid. We had this woman come over, like five dudes. You know what that looked like when they got up out of the car. <laughs> they was all boning her. I mean, hell, they motherfuckers, fake ass son of bitches. But anyhow, I, I agree, they are. And they're like wannabe gangsters. I mean, they're like wannabe Christians. I mean, have you ever seen one Jehovah Witness get out of the car? Hell no, they, they roll in like packs of five. Usually the littlest one is the spokesman. You know, got the dogs behind them. They roll up like they, you know, they pull up in Cadillacs, bins, and shit like that, dude. And it, it, it looks like the mafia rolled up at your house to get ready to put some nuts in a jar or something on your table. Oh, what the fuck? But now, they roll up and they're like, the little one comes up, 
are you prepared for Jehovah's return? It's like, man, I watched Friday. I seen that shit like five million times, dude. I'm like, shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? But then uh, the other guys behind him, like, like, man, I'm going to take his pamphlet out and beat his ass if he says something to her. <laughs> you fake ass pieces of shit. Fuck you. I'm going to put a sign out in the yard. Fuck you, Jehovah Witnesses. Move on. And I'm going to put a fucking strobe light in the middle of the road with a fucking detour sign right into a tree for a fucking horse and buggy. But what you're saying, that shit that I have so to hear that on my road, like, let's get him in trouble. But anyhow, two fuck ups, you know. Fuck Jehovah Witnesses. Well, not Jehovah, <laughs> excuse me, Lord. But Jehovah Witnesses, you're fake. And if there is any Jehovah Witnesses watching us, my sincere apology goes out to you. Because you're going to go to hell. And if there's any Amish people watching us, you fake-ass motherfuckers, get off the internet. How's it now, princess? How's it now?